ever since I put this axe together, I've been dying to swing it. And uh, I've got a maple tree here that's got to come down, so I'm going to try it out. Clean this up a little bit since the handle making video. It's an old craftsman. Three and a half pound. I think that's what it says on there. And uh, got it sharpened up. Good enough to shave hair. So uh, we'll see how it goes and see how this handle holds up. I'm curious to see how long this will take me to get it down. as good a notch as I've ever seen made with an axe. I think I'm gonna start on the back cut now.
she goes. Now that I got that out of my system, I don't think I'll be doing it again for a while. Stunt looks pretty good. Just a little size comparison there. Not a real big tree, but I wouldn't have wanted it much bigger. Sometimes people ask, why do you make a stump so high, you know, when you cut down a tree with an ax? You know, I've seen that on different videos. And it's just because of the, uh, the angle of the cut. If you cut a low stump, swinging the ax into it, your notch would be diagonal. And you need it more or less level. That was close enough. When you're using a chainsaw, it's easy to just cut a tree off flush with the ground, more or less. I'll cut this off with a saw later. The axe did pretty well. It felt really accurate swinging it, probably because of just the double bit design, having the weight at the back of the axe actually stabilize, stabilizes it, which is actually the reason for the pole on single bit axes is actually to have that stabilizing weight on the back and uh, this is the first double bit axe I've ever used and it felt really stable and really accurate and really bit deep into the wood you can see it there even on some of my uh, flat cuts at the bottom of my notches it bit right in pretty deep so did pretty well I was impressed with it the head didn't move at all, the handle held up well. One thing, maybe a slight issue with the handle. I made it pretty thin along in this section on purpose to give it some uh, a slight amount of flexibility which will uh, actually dampen some of the shock. It's the reason why hammer handles like on ball peen hammers are made that way. They tend to be really skinny so they have a slight amount of effect to uh, dampen some of the shock. I don't know if it's necessarily a real good idea on an axe, uh, especially when I chopped into the top of my cuts and tried to lever out chips. I could feel that flex quite a bit, but uh, it didn't break and it didn't move at all. So I'm pretty happy with it. And now I got some more firewood to cut up. 